Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. If your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device is running slow for whatever reason, then you've come to the right video. I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to boost your Fire Stick or Fire TV speeds. In this example, I am using the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max second generation, but these tips will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now guys, when it comes to Fire Stick speeds, the first thing that I would suggest you do is run a quick speed test. In this example, I am using what's called the Analyti speed test. And what this will do is this will just give you a quick gauge of what your internet speeds are on your Fire Stick. Now you can install this for free from the Amazon App Store, or if you're using an Android device, this is also available in the Google Play Store. So you're just gonna have to wait a few seconds in the background while Analyti is pinging your internet speeds from your Fire Stick. And guys, I am on Wi-Fi here, and I am connected to a VPN as well, so my speeds will be a little slower. But you'll see here, here are my download speeds on my Fire Stick. So I'm getting 49 megabits per second down and 68 megabits per second up. Again, keep in mind, I am on a VPN connection through Wi-Fi. So that is the reason for why my speeds are slower than usual. But regardless, almost 50 megabits per second down is efficient enough for 4K gaming, 4K streaming, 1080p, 720, et cetera. I can even stream 8K according to what Analytics speed test is telling me. So that is tip number one, guys, is to check your download speeds so you know what you are working with. Another quick tip for improving Fire Stick speeds is to do a simple device restart or reboot. Now to do that, hover over the settings, scroll down and click My Fire TV, scroll down and you should see an option here for restart. I'm gonna click restart. And then you're gonna get another message here, click restart again. And it says your Fire TV stick is turning off. Now guys, it may seem you know kind of foolish, but a quick restart or reboot, you would be surprised, would actually fix a lot of small issues on your Fire TV device. And it has helped me plenty of times in the past. So you're gonna have to give it you know, a minute or so while the Fire TV stick is rebooting and going through all this processes in the main background. But after the Fire Stick restart is complete, simply log back into your Fire TV profile and we're good to go. Now you won't really notice anything huge per se, um, but typically a quick device reset or restart or reboot will help navigation and just will help things smoother overall. Now guys, another quick tip to improve your Fire Stick speeds is to actually delete the app and delete the app cache and data from your device. So if you scroll over the settings icon here and you click applications, and then you wanna click manage installed applications, what you may be surprised to find is there not only are applications that you do not use. So for example, in this tutorial, you know I'm not using FastCast. That's a screen mirroring application for my iPhone. So if I'm not using an application or never use an application, I'm gonna click it and then I'm going to click uninstall and I'm going to click confirm. So by uninstalling or deleting applications from your Fire Stick or Fire TV device, this should help improve your speeds. And there also are applications that are pre-installed by Amazon. So for example, Amazon Shopping, if I don't use this, I cannot delete it, unfortunately. But you can also clear app data. So if I click clear data, you can also clear app cache. So I click clear cache. And by doing this for a lot of applications, this should help improve your device performance and boost speed. So I'm gonna do a few more here for Amazon applications that are pre-installed and I am not using. So clearing app data and clearing app cache is a third Fire Stick tip for boosting speeds. So guys, another quick tip for boosting Fire Stick or Fire TV speeds is removing this autoplay content that appears in the background. So what you're going to do is hover over the settings icon here I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to click Preferences. And after I click Preferences, you can scroll down and find this option for featured content. So essentially, if I click this, there's two options that say Allow Video Autoplay and Allow Audio Autoplay. And if you read the message on the right, Allow Video Autoplay essentially autoplays video in the background. And the same with audio, it autoplays audio in the background. So by default, these are turned on. So I would turn both of these off. And it's not going to, you know, say move the needle a ton in terms of your Fire Stick speed. 
but by making sure that your featured content settings are off, also data usage monitoring, I would turn that off. I would also turn off these other privacy settings while you're in here as well. So just kind of updating all of these little settings within preferences of your Fire TV device will help boost speeds. So guys, the final tip I wanna show you if your Fire Stick or Fire TV device is running slow is connecting to ethernet connection using an adapter. Now, if I, I've already done this, and guys, I have a whole separate video tutorial on this that I will leave a link to in the video description below that's dedicated to how to connect to a gigabit ethernet adapter. But if I pop over to my Fire Stick speed test and I launch it, what you will find is if you rewind the video is you will notice that my speeds are now probably double or triple from what I originally had towards the beginning of this video. So you'll see here I am getting download speeds above 400 megabits per second, which is pretty crazy. And the reason for this is I am connected to ethernet connection on my home network. Now I should call out that I do have a gigabit ethernet package through Google Fiber, but regardless, if you go back and rewind this video, you'll notice that my speeds were around 40 megabits per second down and 60 megabits per second up. Now I am over 460 megabits per second down and 248 megabits per second up. So long story short, guys, connecting to an Ethernet connection through your home network on an Amazon Fire Stick will likely double, if not triple, your speeds. But that's it, guys. That's a video I just wanted to bring to you is if your Fire Stick is running slow, these are some quick tips on how you can boost your Fire Stick or Fire TV speeds. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. I appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. I hope this tutorial helped you out. And guys, I look forward to creating more content like this in the near future.